Hi everyone and welcome to this tutorial. In this short video I will show you how to use the unique key uh, with your soft delete stable records using MySQL and Laravel. Let's get into it. So we have this migration here which represents the users table in uh, basic Laravel installation and uh, the email field has a unique key so let's add soft deletes here first. We also need to use the trait in the model. Okay, let me migrate. Let's see what's in the database. So we have here the deleted add column. And let's try to create a a model. So let me create one user. Okay. And yeah, there it is. Now let me delete it. First, I need to retrieve it. Oops, my bad. Okay. So now let's delete it. Okay. And you see the deleted add column has a value. So let's create another user with the same email. And you see we have an error here. Because the unique constraint will not allow us to have another record in the table with the same email address. Um, so first thing we could do is change this constraint so as to uh, take two columns of course, the email column and the delete add column. So let's roll back. Let's migrate again. Okay. Okay. Now this unique constraint takes two columns. So let's go and create a user now. Okay. Let me get my factory. Oops. Okay, I got my factory. Now let me create a user. I got one. And you see now I can create multiple users with the same email address. And the reason for that is because nulls in MySQL don't actually represent any value. What they represent is a possibility of having any value and that's why they don't work in a unique constraint. Now, the best workaround here would be to set a default value for the deleted add column, but because I don't want to touch the out-of-the-box functionality of Laravel, I will go a different way. Let me create a new column here. I will call it deleted hash, and I will set a default value for that column, and I will use it in my unique constraint. And okay, let me migrate again. And what I also want to do is I want to create an observer for the user model, and in that observer I will set the value for my deleted hash column. Okay. So I will use the deleted event and I will assign the hash value and I will save the user. And, of course, when I want to restore my trashed users, I want to set the value of the hash back to empty string. Okay, let's test it. Okay, so I will create a user now. And I should have one record in the table. Okay. So let me get my user now and let me delete it. And the uh, deleted hash is empty. Mm. Okay, I think I forgot to register my observer. Right. Okay, let me refresh my tinker. Um, let me get the user. Mm. Oh, okay, because the user is deleted. 
So let me get the user from the trash. I will use the with trashed method for that. So there is my user. Okay, let me restore it. Okay, the deleted at the deleted at value is null, and now let me delete it. And this time the deleted hash contains a value. Okay. Okay, so if I add a new user with the same email address, this time it should work and it worked. Now, as you see, I have two users with the same email address, but one is deleted. Okay. By the way, can I add a third one? No. As you see, my constraint is working just fine. However, if I try to restore the deleted user, I will get an error saying integrity constraint violation, and that's fine, because I'm trying to set the value of the deleted hash column back to empty string, and my SQL will not allow me to do it, uh, because if I do it, I will have two records with the same email and the same deleted hash which violates my unique constraint. The only problem though is that the deleted add column was set as null by the observer and it happened despite the error. So that's probably the last thing that we need to fix here. Okay, so let me go to my observer and uh, let me just cache that error. Okay, it was query exception and uh, should I have this exception here I will delete the user again and then I will throw the error. Okay, let's try it again. So first I need to get my record. Okay. Then I will delete it and then I will restore it. And it shouldn't work and it's not working. And if I go to my database, you see the record still deleted. But if I try to change the email address here, then I should be able to restore my record. And yeah, you see it's not deleted anymore. Okay, I think that's it for today. Thanks for watching, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.